What's up guys, we're back with another episode of British Guy Reacts, the place where we give honest reactions, not overreactions, and we are back with the Tennessee Volunteers. Now 7-0, and and they're playing the Kentucky Wildcats, who were 5-2. and It's number 3 rank versus number 19. Obviously I'm supporting for the Volunteers, for you guys, and for myself as well. I've taken a liking to them. First time seeing them playing in the black and orange. Kind of like it. I'm always a fan of the black, black kits. Um, so... I guess we're expecting a Tennessee win, but let's see, you know. People were expecting an Alabama win, apparently, against Tennessee, but that didn't happen, so. And I see you guys in the comments telling me about the Georgia game on um, Saturday. I could watch it live. The time isn't that bad for me. The problem I have with it is I'm not going to, I'm not ready to do live streaming yet on YouTube. Like, I don't, my setup's not great, guys, like. I'd probably end up having some sort of issues along the way. I don't have a great setup here, I'm not going to lie. So I think the best thing for me to do is to not watch the game live so I can give an honest reaction watching the highlights for you guys and post that. Let me know what you think though down in the comments and I will take it on board. But let's get straight into this one and see if they move to 8-0 before the Georgia game. Some of you have told me it was a bloodbath in the comments but I don't know the score. That didn't take long. Hyatt. Same old, same old names. Causing chaos. Oh, part in two lines. Is on the back end of that defense. Again, they come up with a formation and a way to attack. The corner is playing man to man. The safety instead comes down to help with Valentine. And it's just a busted coverage. Like I said, when they come at you with that tempo as fast as they do, it affects your communication and you bust very often in the back end. How many times do we see Alabama? Off the play action, Levis looking to take a shot and just lobs it downfield, and it's brought perfectly. See, last time I watched highlights, it didn't show the opposition team. It didn't show what was going on with them. This is teaching me as well. This is good. This guy, I like this commentator. Are you teaching me? Now I know what to look for. Sometimes they show the, the replays. You guys probably don't need it, but I do. They show the replays and I don't even know where to look because there's so much going on at any one time on an American football field. They just try to hide him and then sneak him down. Dingle, sneak him down to okay. the backfield. He got away. Slip through. Rodriguez again on first down off the left side. Stiff oh, stiff out. Outside at the one yard line. Close. And I formation. Number 85's on the move. Levis on the boot leg. Oh. Couldn't get the corner, has to fight back, and he'll lose a yard. But the Good tackles, boys. Not fooled. Amari Thomas got him down. Feeds off of that kind of attitude from their quarterback. Rodriguez just walks in. And Kentucky with a powerful answer to Tennessee's lightning strike. Watch Chris the Rodriguez. Bates the tight end. You got Cannis again. Help him take that safety and corner out. And then you throw that blocking and execution up front. You get maybe an arm tackle on Chris Rodriguez. It's not going to bring him down. Looks well, so easy. I know it's not. It looks, <laughs> that play looks so easy, but I obviously know it's not. Gets out of all of it. Why is it 13 6 now? This, this is one thing I don't like about these highlights. Why have I not been shown? Why have I not been shown? The... Runs. Jalen Wright breaks the tackle. So running. Wright. It's going to be cracked down deep in Kentucky territory. And that volunteer ground game is grinding again. But, you know, Wright is a guy that he, he's a complimentary player to small. But a, a dude who has just gotten, you know, a little bit bigger and stronger. Did he keep the knee up? Yeah, he's well, not even close. He's had some fumbling problems. Holding on to the football has been his issue. But he is a pretty good one-two punch. All right, I'm getting distracted here by what um, boots they wear in American football. Like we have football boots, soccer boots. Is, along with small. They look pretty similar. See that left tackle pulling around Crawford. Great job. Again, this defense spread all over the place. Tennessee playing the Beatles as well here, right? Yeah, here. Let it be. They can be turning to more of a fan now. I love the Beatles. Run game to go along with Let them. it be. Let it be. On second and goal, right. Just 
He's a right. Flag, so hold on a second. Did they move too soon? I have a good push. It's leaning right, on this see. Kentucky defense. Jumped over. <laughs> this drive is going to have a lot to say about that. We're going to try to match Tennessee's score for score. And Rodriguez. Oh, no. Get tackle. him. Get him. There you go. Runs for about 14. Look in that direction on a slow. Oh. Ball picked off. The ball of tears. Go on, man. That tackle was massive. Juju makes a huge play. Juju. On the outside right here, that actually creates the ball where he pops up into the air. He doesn't oh. hesitate at all. He Yo, you never catch me on American football field. Never catch me on there. Never. Drives down on that. And he goes Slaughter. Slaughter, who's a safety. Bang. Oh. That ball up into the air against the freshman key. How about the heads up? Oh, it's a freshman. A freshman. God. <laughs> God, absolutely wrecked. Poor guy. On TV as well. That's the worst thing. It's on TV, man. Imagine. Yo, his mates are going to uh, have a good a good time sending that one in the group chat. Plenty of time. Now runs out of time. There's going to be sacked. Nobody home there. JJ. I've got a question. Sorry for the other pause. Why do they wear these blanket things down the back of the pants? I keep seeing it fall out. What's that for? Let me know. He's breaking free. Go on, hook up. Oh, he's a... Hyatt. Hyatt's always wide open. Do people not know? Dylan Hyatt. Yo, did they all take the pictures like this wearing a suit? It's, it's, that's kind of odd. Why are they wearing suits? This season. So let's just switch here. I want you to keep an eye on the back end of this okay, secondary. I'm watching. Watch the miscommunication. He's going to bump and then watch this defensive back as well. Nobody goes with him down the sideline. So by oh. going into the boundary, you work it all week. You try to give him every look you might have. Miscommunication by 14 and the safety to the inside. Because you're not going to expect that big linebacker to run with Hyatt. You'd expect to have a safety over the top protecting him to save him. But again, okay. Hyatt gets I'm learning credit, from this video. This is good. 27-6. It's going to be a blowout, isn't it, Kensuke? Sorry for any Kentucky fans watching this. Well, not good enough, but it's not good enough. Be use a lot of the play clock, but you're going to limit and yourself goes. immediate pressure. Let us back, Bentley. He'll be sacked at the 15. Big trouble here on third and 17. Let oh, bye-bye. Slam down at the seven by Byron Young, the top pass rusher. Byron Young. Come on, kicker. Throwing 29 yards up. And it's perfect. So good. It's been a nightmare for Kentucky on third down. Sip says we have to be great on third. Anything but. And that one is picked off. Oh, right into traffic. And Brandon Turnage with a second takeaway for this Tennessee defense. His receiver, a young guy who kind of comes in here and settles. You got a corner here, you got a linebacker here. And the ball comes out a little bit late. See the route right here. That corner is in great position. Great position with his eyes on the ball that allows him to break on the ball. But that's just a forced throw to the freshman key. It's just the same freshman who got destroyed earlier on. Definitely rough now. Levis on second and ten. Takes his shot downfield. Oh. And it's picked off again. It's a rough night for the quarterback. Why did Tennessee always play at home, by the way? I've watched... This is like the third game in a row they've been at home now. Are they away against Georgia? 
you got I guess it's like NBA where you do like road trips and Slaughter who's made every play that he's been asked that ball just feels like it's a little late looked like he had a couple steps on him but in man three Slaughter four, two for even smash the head when they land don't they right so oh still going. like a barrel roll on his back Oh, good feet. And then Hooker. Into no man's land because he's attacking you with speed. He can either deal it or fake it. Get underneath. Look at the left tackle. 53 gets to that second level. And he is a physical runner. All eight. And Oklahoma shut them down. He basically shut out the offense, so he did. Safety Ooh. Hyatt is loose again, and there goes that man down to the 25. Another huge play. This combo's massive, isn't it? Hooker, the quarterback, right? And Hooker and Hyatt. Come up with them. That hook is quick for a quarterback. So they just moved Hyatt again. 12, and Hooker's going to be slung down for the second. Don't worry about it, Hooker. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's Trayvon Ripka. It's not you. I would, I would think most sports books would probably. Meanwhile, tonight Levis is going to be sacked yet again at the two-yard line, and Byron Young has got him again. It's a nightmare. Byron. No, but he, he in particular, he's not the guy that used to get It's a strong name, that draw. isn't it, Byron? He Williams has space. Williams oh. gets the corner. Still alive. Still down to the 11-yard line. Five for Kentucky. I'm going to guess who's going to score. I think... I think this guy. I was gonna say this guy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go this guy with his white towel sticking out like a tail. I was wrong. Easy touchdown for Jabari Small. Jabari. And slipped him right out of the backfield, trying to get him isolated. Look at that inside route took the safety, and the linebacker did not get the depth. Really well designed play. This Tennessee team loves to attack the boundary. This is Lavelle Rogers. Look at that. Looking good out there. Tennessee dominates their border rivals. See, I read a comment that said this game was a bloodbath. I thought a bloodbath meant it was like a vicious game, like a, a lot of injuries, like a lot of chaos. I guess a bloodbath means it like a blowout, like Kentucky just got killed. Because he got killed here. Uh, so Kentucky go to five and three, Tennessee to eight and oh. Just in time for the game against Georgia. Solid performance. I watched till the end because I I always cut something might happen. You never know in American football. Something might happen though. Doesn't look like it now. Nothing happened. If you did enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below on what else you want to see. Let me know about the uh, Tennessee Georgia game. I think I'm best just watching the highlights, right? I'm posting it on here for you guys. Probably come up the day after the actual game. Uh, like I said, I'm not in a position to be live streaming at the moment with the setup I'm working with. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. That's it for now. Take it easy. Peace.